Um, I'm talking about St. Anthony's School that I went to. My mom, in fact, was the head teacher at that school. It was amazing. I went there the first day just to talk to the teachers, I talk to the principal, and um, explain that my plan for the next day to come and help to feed some of these kids. And then went to the principal's office, talked to the principal, and explained that um, how many kids you got here. I'll, I'll pl I'm having a plan to come and see the next day and see if I can feed these kids. And the principal says they got almost seven to 800 kids with the clinic um, staffs and also the, the volunteer staffs and everybody else. It was almost to 900 to 1,000 or whatever it was. So the principal says, are you sure you want to do that? I say, I'm going to try. And then I left and then went to talk to Hill Valley and say, guys, we have another plan again. We have another feeding for the next day. And, um, and then we came and feed them. So the day we came in to visit the kids, it was like a dream come true for me because growing up in St. Anthony's school, you know, it's a Catholic school. Every first Friday, the, the nuns and then the, the, the priest and father, they used to give lunches to a lot of um, homeless people. You know, every first Friday we will get lunch. So coming back now with my provisions to the this, to this school was amazing. So the first thing I did, I went to the principal and we trying to put all the kids together. The kids were outside, one of the class was outside having their physical education, they call it PE. And then I told the teachers that if, they, if we can take these kids to the class. So the principal said I was okay. So we took some of the class that was already out and, and trying to line up every class bringing a bag of food for each class. And it was so amazing how some of these classes were so quiet when we're passing the food. And then, um, and then the, the teachers were all amazing in the school. Um, some kids were all excited and I was excited too. Just makes me feel like the time when I was a child right here at the school called St. Anthony School. So they were also excited in the school. There was so much noise, so much things going on. And then later on I tell the principal if they can come outside. And I thought that was amazing. All of these kids coming out with their lunch in their hands. It was just amazing for me seeing these kids running around. Um, you know, it was like this is the first, last food they had. I don't know when. And there was so much cheerful and so much joy. And, um, and at one time I was right in the middle of these kids. And I told the kids, I said, please, I said, can you all be quiet? There was still a little background of a little small noisy, but I told them and the ones around me, over a hundred around me, they were all quiet. And then I said, guys, you have to remember this day. Remember that somebody that came in the school when he was little, now he's overseas. He's here doing this. So I want you guys to remember one, two, three, four of you guys might have the same opportunity to go overseas. Remember to come back and do the same thing that I'm doing right here. And all I can hear from these kids, I say we will, and some of them were even calling me uncle. They, all of them were calling me uncle and just telling me, God bless you, uncle. Uncle, God bless you. I mean, it was just amazing. So this is what it's all about. People that wait overseas, where they cannot get money, I try for struggle so hard for can't help them pick here. So people that wait overseas, where get money, please. Even when I'm not going to get for being rich, just come when I can do the same thing what I do. Look at the beginner, you see? This is what it's all about, guys. Then get small feeling, but look, look, look. You know,